my name is Asmodeus and today I am coming to you with a vlog because I broke my foot and it's not even in the um, funny sense I um, I was walking on uh, wedges and I was going towards my uh, grandfather's uh, place the road there uh, towards his house uh, they were doing some construction work and there were stones all over the place and um, the wedges I was wearing uh, they weren't exactly very high but because I was wearing wedges it was a little bit difficult for me to walk on uh, kind of uh, gravel and stuff like that because when you uh, uh, step on a piece of um, piece of stone that's relatively large you can easily uh, misstep and fall and what I did was I stepped on a uh, rock about this this size that was left over from one of the tiles from the sidewalk that they had cut up and I stood on it and I uh, my ankle the weird movement and I fell and uh, I made it I'm I immediately felt something uh, really painful in my foot instead of my ankle but because I have have had uh, things happen to my uh, ankle area uh, more often when I was little I didn't really think anything of it so we continued uh, on, our, on a walk to, um, to my grandfather and um, afterwards uh, uh, my mom gave me a uh, a wet towelette to put on my foot and um, the pain didn't seem to go away it didn't want to go away and there was um, a, a relatively a small bump compared to later but it was a, a, a bump on my uh, foot in my um, like in the middle of my foot and you could feel it and I thought well maybe it's not that bad I mean I could have hit my uh, my foot on uh, on the stone and there's a piece of bone there so maybe that's why it's uh, especially uh, thick but because the pain didn't want to go away uh, my mom eventually uh, called the uh, called our physician and said well she's having pain her foot's not going uh, away can we call can we come immediately and uh, fortunately my my physician was still there so uh, we went there and as soon as we got there we um, Almost as soon as we got there, we were able to go in, and um, yeah, it turned out my foot was uh, my foot was uh, either broken or badly sprained. The doctor said if it's sprained, then they'll just uh, put some bandages around it and be done with it. But just in case, uh, we're going to to uh, send you to the hospital so they can t take some pictures to rule anything out if anything was there. But they w wouldn't put any bandages on my foot at that moment because they just have to get it off and it will be very annoying and blah. And this whole time I I kept walking on my wedges because those were the only shoes I had with me. So I walked on wedges in agony, like so painful so uh, then we went to the hospital and we um, got the picture taken and as soon as the second x-ray got taken uh, the guy who took the x-ray said yeah your foot's broken you have to go to uh, emergency care and I'm like oh god I hope I don't have to get a uh, surgery or anything fortunately I didn't have to but uh, apparently in the um, because you have, uh, like your hands, you have bones in the middle of your uh, of your foot, and uh, think of this as my foot. I have my bone broken somewhere over here uh, near the top. So where you bend your foot, that's where the where there was a, a piece of bone missing, or well, not necessarily missing, but it wasn't got broken off. And uh, fortunately for me. Uh, uh, according to the doctor at least he said that the piece of bone was still uh, at, uh, uh, next to the bone so I didn't have to get any surgery to get anything uh, corrected or, or, or something like that which is uh, something I'm very grateful for because I didn't want to go through um, surgery again for something leg related because I had my uh, left knee broken a few years back <laughs> so um, I'm I'm um, 
I consider myself fortunate enough that that didn't happen. Yeah, so then we had to get uh, my foot in a cast, and um, as you could have saw, if as you probably saw, my foot looked like that. So, <laughs> but yeah, I am happy that I didn't have to get anything uh, done to it because the only thing necessary was. Um, was a cast and a, sp a special uh, shoe for a uh, fashion forward as the picture showed yeah I mean I'm I'm allowed to walk I don't need crutches or anything I don't need a wheelchair I can just walk around I need to, to I need to be sure that I don't overtax it but as long as it doesn't hurt I don't um, have to get any spe special medication if it does hurt I just have to take some um, ibuprofen or anything else that just uh, gets rid of uh, pain like the normal way nothing special so uh, it's not bad but it's just very annoying because I can't walk very fast I can't walk very far and if I do walk very far it's just going to hurt so uh, and I can't even drive drive the car which is annoying because if uh, we have to go anywhere with my grandfather I just uh, drive from my grandfather's car but fortunately I can't do that with uh, my clump foot at the moment. Yeah, we'll uh, come back with the next video uh, somewhere soon. Unfortunately for me, I don't get to do a lot of activity in the next few days, which is a bummer because I was going to get to look for a, for a part-time job so I can uh, sustain myself and play more games and give you guys what you want on YouTube. But anyways, thank you guys for uh, understanding uh, my current situation. Fortunately for me, it do uh, gaming means it doesn't mean that I have to walk at all. Um, unfortunately for me, I do have to walk up and down the stairs to get downstairs to do anything I need to do downstairs because every all my equipment is upstairs, which means a lot of uh, stair walking. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, next time I, I uh, next time I'm going to upload, I'm going to upload a video game. Uh, no worries about that. I am going to do some more vlogs in the future about uh, things you have to do to uh, move in Japan, how to change um, your address and what to do and what not to do and uh, make sure that, that you have all things ready to be able to continue on with your life in Japan. Uh, this is going to be focused mainly on Tokyo because I only know what to do in Tokyo But this will also probably help uh, all those people who are either going to Tokyo or coming or going from Tokyo to another prefecture for example uh, I will conclude this video here and uh, I will see you guys in the next video Bye bye